All right, behavior change case study week three. Um, so since my last report, my mom and I have been continuing our weekly check-ins. I call her on the phone, and usually I'll start with an open-ended question like, tell me how your exercise is going, or tell me more about your how your week has been. I mean, we talk anyway, so it's not weird for me to ask questions like that. It doesn't feel forced or anything like that. Um, and then each session I make sure, like I said, to ask her her exercise that week. Um, and this particular week when we met, my mom was wondering if she could read an article. She loves to read in general. Um, so she asked if I could find an article about ways to stay motivated and exercise during quarantine. So I did find a New York Times article about that. I emailed it to her. So that was a nice little addition to this week. Um, we just talked about the importance of staying on track, like even when her friend isn't available to walk, it's okay to maybe take your phone, listen to some music, and walk by yourself. Um, some barriers, uh, my mom suffers from migraines, so I guess this week her big barrier was having really bad migraines and not wanting to walk or move in general, which is actually pretty fair. <laughs> I can understand that. So my, I didn't really have much advice for that, except maybe talk to her doctor about restarting a daily preventative. My whole family gets migraines, unfortunately. Um, as far as other types of barriers, we've talked already about um, making sure to walk when it's not hot out, um, early in the morning or at night. I don't think she'll ever walk in the morning just yet, just with her schedule, and I don't think that's going to happen. So I think night has really been the time that she's focusing on to exercise, and I'm proud of her for that. I think that's great. Um, overall, I'm really happy with our weekly check-ins. They don't, like I said, they don't feel forced, and I can't wait to see where the rest of this goes.